The Upper House of Parliament has given government the approval for 194,702,991 dollars in additional funds to service the state of Grenada for the fiscal year 1st January to 31st December 2022. Leader of Government Business in the Senate, Honorable Adrian Thomas, who tabled the bill during a meeting of the House at Mount Welldale on Tuesday, explained that that one of the main reasons is to ensure access to the $60 million needed for retroactive pension payments to public workers who have retired from the service. The issue of pension that we have been talking about as a political organization since 2013. Madam President, the day is finally here. And we make no bones about that. The people, the workers in Grenada, Carrico and Piti Matnik, who have worked for 20, 30, 40 years in the service and left the service quietly, having to resort to poverty, we are here today to seek the approval for this bill so that these people will have a different life and a change, of, a change in, in terms of changing the lifestyle in terms of going forward. Madam President, there are other programs that we wanted to implement from June to the end of December. I am sure that every parent that has a child, a children going to school, pre-primary, primary, secondary, today, as I speak, they are enjoying the privilege of not having to pay school fees and, and school charges. Senator Thomas said also soaking up most of the funds from the supplementary appropriation bill are the more than 200 infrastructural projects. Most of these projects were started under the previous administration and require additional funds to pay contractors and workers as well as to complete other projects. Out of that $194 million, $702,000 $991, the Ministry of Infrastructure, Physical Development, Public Utilities, Civil Aviation, and Transport will be taking up a big chunk of that, over $88 million. Mm -hmm. And this is necessary because the refurbishment and extension of some of government buildings must take place, Madam Speaker. The devotion program is a program that some people look forward to. It's a program, it's not the best for our people, but at this point in time, on a short-term basis, it is necessary. But rest assured, it is a program we will transform. It is a program that this administration will transform. Madam Speaker, there are a number of the Molina Road, which was catered for many, maybe a couple of years ago, today the cost of material has increased significantly. With the war in the Ukraine, that has affected this project. And therefore, what you have anticipated cannot work today. So we need to beef up that. But as Speaker, drains has to be addressed. The repair of schools 